Well, when we talk about an exponential technology, we mean a technology that is developing at an exponential rate, that it's going along an exponential curve. And those specifically are technologies that are information enabled. So we look at something that's been digitized. Right? One of the classic examples is uh, DNA sequencing. DNA is information. You can digitize it. You can manipulate. You can copy, paste, cut, edit just the way that you would with other kinds of information. And you can manipulate and share. And when it's digitized, it is now able to leverage abundant computing power, which is growing at an exponential rate because of Moore's law. the biggest thing to keep in mind is if you are developing a product, a platform, some kind of vision for two years out, five years out, you probably need to reevaluate. Like if I'm developing a new platform that I'm imagining going to market in three years, I should not be developing it to work in today's technological ecosystem. I should be thinking about where things are going to be in five years. And I should be looking at those exponential trends to kind of anticipate and meet it at that point. Lack of imagination, I think. Failure to think big enough. And in my mind, that then becomes failure to build the right partnerships and to understand that the smartest people probably don't work for your organization. So if you're completely dependent upon in-house capability, then you're limiting yourself. You need to be looking outside. You need to be having a bigger conversation, building more partners, learning faster, and then you're gonna be more successful. I fundamentally believe that. For me, the important technology, ultimately, is, is that of the human. A real technological revolution is not just having a better tool set, it's having better tool users who are empowered. And so for me, part of what's exciting about being here, for example, with Singularity, is that we're building a bigger community. We're going to be able to affect greater change at scale by having more partners, more collaboration, more people that we can learn from, and more people that we can teach when we have the opportunity. And I think the revolution is getting the technology into new hands. These things, as they ride that exponential curve, they become faster, cheaper, and more abundant. That is the world that we live in right now. And I think it's an exciting place.